YouTubers, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. You want to watch this housing. A lot of people watch me for housing. Some of them don't. You're going to want to watch this. I don't care where you are. If you speak English, listen to this because you're not going to believe what you're going to see. And the numbers are adding up and difficulties are on the rise. And I'm not trying to be all gloom and doom, but it's kind of a financial issue for a lot of people. Now, if you're looking or thinking of moving to Canada, you better watch this video before you consider a move this bold. Here goes. Buying a typical home in Canada, cities now require incomes of up to $230,000. dollars two hundred thirty dollars is about 178000 American. We don't have many cities in Canada. Texas has more cities than all of Canada. We're screwed. We're in a lot of trouble. You need 230 large yearly to just to make your mortgage payment. That's just... Uh, you know, sprinkle some pixie dust around once in a while and maybe have a beer when you could afford it. Or maybe, you know, maybe have steak once at once at once every three months. And that's what's happening right now. 230 large. So let's go right here. Toronto condo households need to make 178000 per year to buy a non-condo. So the, uh, only the top of the 20% of Canadian households could, could buy a home in Toronto unless it's a condo apartment. Yeah. And you know, we we're talking about how BC and other provinces are having a really tough time finding first time home buyers. This is huge. So we were bought out of money poured into Canada. Canada was competing for rich investors, and look where we are today. All the money laundering, hundreds of billions of dollars laundered through Canadian real estate, and the Canadian proper local is 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 can doesn't even have two nickels to rub together, and it's forcing Canadians into homelessness. So here it is right there. So, uh, so the required household income for to carry a mortgage on a non condo uh, reached one hundred seventy eight thousand per year. That's about one hundred thirty two point seven percent of the median household income for a typical condo. They estimate the income of one hundred twenty four thousand dollars per year. A condo, a condo. It probably doesn't even have a pool in it for maintenance, and you're paying strata fees in, in the Mickey Mouse insurance. Woo. Okay, here. It works out to be 62% more than the median household currently makes. 62% more of what the currently household makes. In other words, uh, much of Canada's middle class can afford to buy in Toronto. So here it is. But you're saying, oh, just move out of Toronto. But where are people going to work, right? I've been saying, I've been telling people for years, get the, get, get the F out of city. Get out of Sydney. Get out of Toronto. Get out of Auckland. Get out of Melbourne. Get out of all these places. You know, get out of California. But, you know. So this is the typical home across Canada. Vancouver. Look at that, man. 230,000 a year. That's like 170,000 American. Victoria. Just just across the pond there uh, off uh, off of uh in BC, not too far from Vancouver. Toronto. 178. Hamilton, Ontario. 144,000 for a non-condo. Wow. And Hamilton when I was a kid was like the hood. Ottawa. 110 large a year? Calgary, 97 large per year. Montreal, 91 large per year. Edmonton, 85, 85 large per year. Murder, murder Peg, 69,000 per year. And Quebec City, 63,000. So those are Canadian cities, uh, Canadian cities, our major Canadian cities. And guess what? We, we can't even get into our own cities in Canada. The upper middle class is having a really tough time now. Upper middle class is no longer going to be in existence. It's going to be dirt poor and rich. And now with the new snap election coming up and mail-in ballots, you're going to have a liberal government for another four years. And only Canada's top earners can afford Vancouver. That's right. So, again, Canada would be in a recession if it wasn't for money laundering. So we all know that. Look it up on my channel. Not even the top 20% Canadian can buy a condo. There you go. Top. 20% of Canadians can buy a condo in Vancouver these days. There it is right there. NBC economists estimate that household needs to earn 230 large to carry the mortgage in, in, in Q4. This is 200 222% higher than the median household income. 222.8% higher than the median household income. I had to kind of raise my voice there so people could hear what the heck I'm saying there. Uh, so there it is. This is about 78% higher than the median income. I guess we'll soon find out if a city can expensively 
uh, so exclusively be populated with wealthy households. Well, who's going to take out the garbage? Who's going to take care of business? I guess they're going to have to drive two hours to come and find out, right? Montreal is one of Canada's last affordable large cities. Kind of. And it's getting out of reach. This is about 46% higher than the incomes last reported for the condo apartment. They estimate the household needs an income of $67,750 uh, per year. So after taxes, after taxes, I mean, you, I mean, you're, you're left with crumbs. So 230 large uh, for a in, in Canadian cities, right? A typical home in Canada. Cities now require income as up to 230 large. This is unbelievable. I, I cannot fathom. This is, and this is, again, again, we, you know, it has a lot to do with this. Canada, uh, hold on, will be in a recession if it wasn't for money laundering. I'll, I'll be I wouldn't be surprised if they took down this, this article. There you go. Canada would be in a recession without money laundering, and we've covered this on the channel a quadrillion times. There's all the all the provinces, and they only caught a few years of money laundering. They could, 2011 to 2015, they caught four years of it, and they found $200 plus billion dollars laundered. And that's a lot of money coming in from China and capital flows out of China. And that's what's happened. There it is per province per year. And there it is, right? Look at BC and look at Alberta. They laundered a lot of money through Alberta too. I wonder why. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. I, I, I this is this channel was built off of this, of, of of housing affordability and where the middle class is headed. And it's sad. It's really sad to see where or what's left or where we have. What I mean, I doesn't. I just can't fathom this anymore, guys. This is not normal. Oh, we're in the midst of massive pandemic. We got to shut down the country. But yeah, you still need an income of $230,000 if you want to buy in the city of Vancouver. One plus one nowadays equals 46, not three, 46. Come, I have spoken. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I have. Oh, by the way, let me show you guys. I've been here at the shop, at the, the store here. I put up some new lighting up here. By the way, for those that, that ask how I'm doing. And I had my door open all day. I've had my door open all day, but I wanted to now open my door because I'm done making this video so people don't hear me shouting outside wondering if I'm losing my mind. But yes, I am losing my mind over what the annual income needs to be for an average family. Look how gorgeous. It's like 10 centigrade outside. Today is the second or what was it? Not the second. It's like the fourth or fifth or sixth of February. I don't know. It's the date this video is posted. There it is right there. Absolute. Oh, the breeze. It's so gorgeous outside. Uh, it's been like, it's going to be like this the next week and a half, two weeks. So let me know what you guys think. I know it's like minus 15 in Toronto and it's like minus 11 in New York. So sorry about that, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll look forward to reading your comments. I have spoken.